we had a good, a fun time, and we also came out trying to win, so it was, yeah. it was good overall. I mean, it was an all-star game, but you still don't want to lose these guys, right? Right. It's, it's some competitiveness going on. Of course, X in the hotel, we all talk about who's going to win the game and all that, so it's, it's all fun. Though. John says X is a talker. Oh, yeah, he loves to talk. He's, he's very competitive. <laughs> I'd say he's the most competitive point guard I know, so yeah. it's good. Talk a little bit about looking forward to the next level. I mean, now that your career is over, kind of focus on Michigan? Yeah, um, I think I'm just going to try and work out as hard as I can every day and make sure I'm getting better every day so I have a chance to come in and, and help the team make an impact and just um, bring Michigan basketball back. What do you do in terms of working out? Um, I usually, I'm on a pretty strong workout schedule with uh, my trainer, and I also work out with Nick Ward going to Michigan State. We yep. uh, work out before school, go lift after school, and then get another workout in. So it's basically all we do, so we don't have much time for much else. You and Nick uh, going back and forth with the Michigan, Michigan State stuff already? Oh yeah, it's, a, it's an everyday thing. It's I think we can't go a day without talking about who's going to win next year, who's going who's gonna to start, all that, so we just, we just play. What are your hopes for next year, personally? Um, I just hope to be able to impact the team and help us win a championship. That's just the main goal. Yep. Were you pretty pleased with your uh, senior year? Seems like you really made some strides. Yeah, I think um, a lot of hard work I put in paid off. I think I was able to um, change my game a little bit to, for the better, and I thought um, I was able to help the team make a pretty good run this year. Yep. Talk about your run. Pretty pleased with where you guys were. Obviously, you wanted to go a little bit further. But... Yeah, I thought, um, I thought no excuses, but with, without some injuries, I thought we could have made, made it even deeper. But yeah, I was really pleased with the way we uh, rose above all the adversity we had, the way we just battled every single game. Michigan loses a couple assistants, but uh, you're kind of anxious to see who fills their shoes? Yeah, I'm definitely anxious to see who fills. Um, I don't know really who all the candidates are, yep. but um, it should be interesting to see. Those are some good guys, and I'm, I'm really uh, happy for them for getting the head coaching job. Coach Beeline has been in contact with you about that? Yeah, um, yeah. I haven't talked to him as much recently, but yeah, yeah I've talked to him about it. Gotcha. And uh, expectations for the team next year? You think you guys can do some damage? Yeah, I think we definitely can. we got some yeah. good seniors who will be coming back to lead us, um, and I think we just got a lot of guys that are going to be hungry and come in and battle. And a few uh, boos, not really boos, but when you, they were announced that you're going to Michigan, take a little pride in that? Oh, yeah, I definitely do. I'm used to it. We yeah. um, Living in Columbus, it's, it's, they don't even say Michigan down here, so it's just a it's just, um, constant thing, but it's, it's all good. Looking forward to the first time you play in Columbus? Yeah, That's it, be it should be fun. A lot of friends, a lot of family will be there, but um, it, should be, it should be a good little battle. Fantastic. Thanks. No problem. Thanks. Appreciate it. Pleasure.